Well, we have a great team here at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, been doing this a long time, and uh, it takes about, we have about 11 people out here, a couple of painters, a couple of assistants, and once we get the st stencils down um, where they need to go, it takes about six, seven hours to get all the paint down. Um, of course, we work with the schools, we work with the CFP, make sure we're getting the right logos, matching their colors, you know, we don't want the wrong purple in the wrong end zone. Um, and then before that, it's uh, scrubbing the paint off, so it's about four or five hours of work to, you know, get every all the paint off from the last game we've had on here. Um, talk about kind of, I guess, you know, <coughs> what it means to be able to do this. Because, I mean, you guys, you know, do this sort of painting for, you know, the Saints and other games all the time. But talk about uh, being able to do this for the national championship, especially with LSU uh, being in this game. Yeah, of course. Um, it's definitely special. Every time we do a flip in the building, it's something special. You know, it's a new game. It's a new audience, a uh, new logo. So it's a new experience. But to do it for LSU in the national championship, for me personally, I was here in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome or just the Louisiana Superdome at the time in 03 and 07 for both of those national championships. So now to be a part of making it happen before the players get here, before coach gets here and all that, it's just it's um, definitely a unique experience. It's something that I've been really looking forward to all year. Tell me more about just like your love for, I'm assuming you're an LSU fan because you called us the real Tigers. Yes, yeah. Um, I, you know, I think I was taken home from the hospital like many of us from, you know, this area in a LSU blanket and everything. Grew up cheering, cheering for LSU and cheering against Ole Miss and everybody like that. Um, and, you know, I was, everybody in my family went to LSU and it's just, um, it's real special to have them here and to, for such a big title and, you know, the Heisman Trophy year and it's just, it's more than just a, it's more than just a football game, you know, you get to be a part of it is, is great. And what do you think this game means to the state of Louisiana? Well, I mean, you look at we, the Heisman Trophy, Joe Burrow, and the season he's had in Coach Ogeron, and um, the energy that he's just instilled in, in the entire state, you know, a renewed love of LSU football. And not that we ever lost it, but it's this, this high energy spirit and having the Heisman Trophy first time since 58, and now we're back here, and it's a lot, seeing a lot of the same things. And... Um, you know, it does. It means a lot, especially with the way the New Orleans Saints seasons have gone the past couple of years. You know, you have that heartbreak, and now you have this high with, with LSU that's, you know, really always been there for us. And um, it's it's uh, just going to be an exciting time. If you can just uh, mention again about how it feels for you playing a part in, you know, the painting of the field and, and things like that. Yeah, it's, um, like I said, it's special every time the last... The last two games I've been here for for LSU is the 03 and the 07 National Championship, and I was just that patron where I walked in, the field's done, and you see and you go, wow, look, that's so cool. That's been there for forever, right? And uh, it comes in and just looks like the field was sewn in yesterday, and now today we've got to be a part of it and actually put that purple down and put that gold down and, and put my own you know, sweat equity into making the field perfect for um, the team I grew up rooting for and the team that I love. And last question, um, unless you have something else. Um, Talk about, I guess, sort of the, the pride that your guys put into uh, <coughs> working on this field each and every time, not just the Yeah, I mean, I have, a, I have a really special team. You know, my guys, I have some guys that work for me that have been here for 40 years, you know, and they've seen this field go from AstroTurf that they literally kicked out every time for a football game and zipped together to the synthetic turf that we're on now. And, um, you know, there, there's a, there is a lot of pride that they all take in and making sure that those lines are straight, the colors pop, that everything's perfect come game day. And, you know, and they'll see it, they'll pull in the nets on game day or if they're in the bag or they're watching a highlight, you know, later and they say, wow, look at that. We need to do this better. We need to do that because they want to make sure that their signature is on this field and their signature is how good this paint looks and how good the field looks. Anything else? No, anything else that you want to add that you think that maybe we forgot? Um... No, I don't. I don't any, think so. Any game predictions? Game predictions. LSU by a mile. That's great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank y'all. Oh, that's cool, Brandon. Up there. <coughs> all the logos they have on the all the boards are amazing. Yeah. Well, thank y'all. Thank, thank you so much. much. Yes. yes.
Would, will we have an opportunity to come back down, or is this our last time? Come down, but not on the field again, if you want to do something from the side or okay. something. Okay, yeah, that's Hey, Brandon, I'm about to get a picture of you, okay? Hold on. 